Warning, cheaters may contain adult themes and strong language. Parents are cautioned that this program may not be suitable for children. Coming up on this episode of Cheaters. This is a little more incriminating and... Yeah, it's a guy. I, I don't understand why he even pursued me, that, but that was... Good, okay. go! I don't want to be with him if he's gay. Oh, really? Get it through your head, well, okay? Well then, fine, there's a revelation in itself right there. Okay? Well, good, he's gay, great. Okay? From Cheater's surveillance cameras, you are about to view actual true stories filmed live, documenting the pain of a spouse or lover caused by infidelity. This program is both dedicated to the faithful and presented to the false-hearted to encourage their renewal of temperance and virtue. Just like he's just trying to keep a big secret from me. I just can't go on anymore. I need to know the truth. I don't like being the one that has to show you this. Oh. I asked her about his, and she said nothing's going on. Do you want to confront him? Oh, yeah. Take me there. Yeah, I got him. Hey, go. Go. Get up <laughs> Real Reality Television as brought to you by Cheaters Detective Agency's Private Eyes on Cheaters. Greetings, I'm Joey Greco. Welcome to another dramatic episode of Cheaters. Allow me to introduce Shay Conwell, a young lady concerned that her boyfriend's excuses may be covering up a secret lover. Tired of second guessing herself, Shay turns to Cheaters for the truth. Shay Conwell, age 22, a skincare professional who worries that her boyfriend's affection for her only runs skin deep. Ron and I first met um, around, roughly around six months ago. Um, we met through some mutual friends because we basically have about the same, you know, career goals and so forth. Um, he's a masseuse and I work with skin. And when we first met, everything pretty much kind of clicked. We had a lot of interest the same, and um, it's been going pretty great up until just recently. He has seemed kind of distant. Sometimes when I call him at work, he's, you know, in a hurry to get off the phone, or, you know, sometimes people call a cell phone whenever he's around me and stuff like that, and he kind of acts, you know, distant from me, or like he's trying to hurry up and get off the phone before I find something out. Ryan and I do not live together. He lives in his apartment, I live in my apartment, and, um, you know, we spend the night every once in a while, but not a lot, because again, we do not want to get into that, you know, serious, serious, where you're living with each other 24 hours a day. Ryan has not, never complained so far about us not having sex. Um, it's just never been really a situation that was a problem so far. But I'm kind of starting to wonder, because it's been six months, you know, and it seems like by now he should be. If I find out that Ryan is cheating on me, I will basically just say, you know, <laughs> I will wash my hands of him because there's no point in being in a relationship if someone's going to be cheating on you all the time and or has cheated on you in the past. If you suspect infidelity in your relationship, Cheaters licensed investigators may be able to provide you assistance. Exercise your right to be informed. Ryan Creek, age 28. A masseuse suspected of using his Midas touch to oil up and rub down other women. Investigation Day 6. On this evening, Cheaters P.I.s catch up to Ryan Creek while sitting alone on the patio of a local Dallas bar. The suspect leers around anxiously as if waiting for the arrival of another person. And sure enough, another unknown man arrives within the hour. Cheaters detectives watch with anticipation as the two greet each other with a kiss and a hug and then proceed to walk hand in hand into the barn. The two sit down in a tight window booth and after a bit of initial chit chat, they tip glasses and move into a more intimate position. 
Meanwhile, the unsuspecting Shay is left completely in the dark about Creek's romantic rendezvous with another man. Hello. Hey, Shay, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Doing great. Uh, just, we're just calling you. I'm running late. Uh, I got to stop by Lime Bar to uh, meet with a client that called up. Uh, he's looking to actually do monthly... Uh, Isn't that a um, gay bar? Well, no. Well, it's in Oakland. I mean, it's not a gay bar. It's just in that area. Well, how late do you think you're going to be then? It should only be about an hour or two. You can just go ahead and uh, put some clips together, stuff like that. And if we come to agreement, we'll go ahead and sign contracts, and I'll go ahead and head on over there. Okay, great. Well, um, good luck. I hope you get it. That'll be awesome. All right, well, call me if you need anything. Okay, sounds great. All right, All right. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Hours later, the two men disappear off into the night holding hands. But cheaters sleuths know that the investigation is now breaking open and head back to headquarters to prepare for another day on the case. Investigation day seven. Cheaters stakes out the suspect at his place of work. And just before 10, he walks out to his vehicle and cruises off. Detectives trail his every move and are finally thrown a bone when the suspect slips into a local restaurant but are caught off guard as the suspect re-emerges with his male companion from the previous evening. The fellow has now been identified as Richard Flores. The two then hurriedly shuffle off together, seemingly full of great expectations. In the car, their ardent feelings for each other become evident as companion Flores impulsively moves in, full of lust. The couple can't seem to get enough of each other and appear oblivious to everything and everyone around them. After several fiery minutes in the parking lot, the two finally head off to another, as yet unknown, destination. Cheaters' cameras roll on as the suspect's vehicle finally comes to a halt on a dark city street. Under cover of night, the two men proceed to an unknown residence, which investigators can only assume belongs to Companion Flores. Unable to follow them any further, but fairly certain as to what occurs behind closed doors, the cheater squad heads home for the night. Investigation Day 10. After laying low for a few days, Suspect Creek is again trailed over to the same unknown residence, which Cheaters detectives have now positively identified as belonging to Companion Flores. The suspect removes what appears to be some art supplies from his car and hurries toward the residence, leaving it to the imagination as to what is getting painted while the two are inside. Hours later, the two finally emerge from the building, giving each other a long kiss goodnight. Case closed. After the break, the confrontation. With Ryan's treachery proven beyond a doubt, Cheaters calls on Shea to disclose the facts of the case. Faced with the horrifying details of the surveillance, Shea struggles to maintain her decorum. We brought you out tonight, it's late, uh, but it was important that I got you over here. Right. Well, my detectives have brought me some surveillance to show you. Okay. We believe it warranted having you come out tonight and to show you the facts. Okay. This is a, a bar called Lime. That's where I am there, obviously. We have a friend approach <laughs> now this this is pretty intimate behavior do you recognize this fella no that yeah. was supposed to be a a business meeting at one this area is a very well-known gay area you've got to be kidding me oh my yeah here they are sitting on the same side in a booth oh my god I know. No. <laughs> oh my. This is several hours later. They left this this bar walking hand in hand. He's he's gay. Oh my god. He's not even with a girl. He's gay. Oh my god. Oh, that's nice. That's great. That one tops it all, I think. Did you have any inkling, any idea that 
No. He would be hanging around and dating uh, other men? No. If I had known that, I don't think I would have. Yeah. This is a little more incriminating and <laughs> a pretty tough behavior uh. to, uh, that's why this, that's why I warranted having you come that's, out tonight. That's disgusting. I mean, this is disgusting. I'm that stupid <laughs> to think, I mean, to. They're in this bar right over here with this same guy that we've been filming them with. Do you want to talk to him about it? Yeah, it's a guy. I, I don't understand why he even pursued me. That, that was heartless. He's totally not the person I thought he was. That's, I mean, that's obvious. Move. OK, here we go. Let's go. Ryan, I would like to know what you're doing. Uh, we're just having a few drinks. Oh, really? That's yeah. not what I saw on the camera. Why? Why? Why Ryan, did you Tommy lie to me? I'm Tommy from the television show Cheaters. She came to us uh, no. with a problem. Yeah. And uh, we have surveillance of you two. You have nothing. Have yes, you been telling he does. her that? Uh, Ryan, have you been you is this your running. girlfriend? Why don't you just for the be truthful and months? be honest? Did you know he was in a relationship honest. with her? With her? Yeah. yeah. For the no. last six months. No way. Yeah. There's wanna, possibilities you, of other you men, but explain, Ryan? women. There's nothing to don't, explain. You know, don't Let's, sit here and cut me down. I didn't know about this either, and you don't have to be a... You, know how you don't have anything to do with it. Talk to him. You know, uh, it's only been six months. Oh, that's it, so it's Why worth didn't you tell okay. me? What were you trying to do? Why were you trying to lead me on? Why didn't you just be up front? Why did you even bother with me in the first place? Well, I tried to be. I tried No, to you be. were not. You never I, were. Yes, I, was I, I was. never would be in that predicament. No, you were not. Excuse Come me. Come on, Shay. You know that. Okay. Miss Britney Spears, not quite a woman. You're saying that really? she knew yeah. you were gay? Okay. But she didn't know I was okay, gay, well, why don't but you she knew what I lied. Back off. Because I don't even know that you were in the situation. So Well, you... I don't know about you either. Right. You know? So leave me alone. I'm not talking to you. I'm not here for well, you. Well, he's leaving with me. Good. Okay? Go. I don't want to be with him if he's gay. Oh, really? Get it through your head, well, okay? Coming up, the conclusion. Well, good, great. Okay. Well, it would have been nice if he'd have said that from the start. You then don't have we any problem here. he was in a relationship with her? No, that's, we don't it's not any big good, deal. Good, you don't. Oh, good. so Ryan, Please after go. six months, you're willing to just... Live. It's done? Because he's a liar. He's just going to lie to you also like he's lied to me. Do you think that you're anything special? No. You knew what she's been through. Well, reality show, buddy. At least he sucks at He does. <laughs> yeah, well, that's good to know. That explains why he's... So well, well too, there's sweetheart. a class act. That's oh, just that's really classy there, buddy. Well, go ahead, go be a. Okay, go for it then. If that's yeah, what you I'll want. I really don't even care. God, I cannot believe. I feel so stupid. I just want to go home. Excuse me. Excuse me. You are not the bill, and this is not my clothes up. I am so embarrassed. I don't know what to do. You don't have any reason to be yes. embarrassed. Because you gave somebody your heart, and you said no. you opened yeah. up to him, and you said, "I want you in my life." Why yeah. is that your fault? Because he's an idiot, and he wants to lie to you and deceive you. That how can that be your fault? I cannot believe. I cannot believe this. Please pill out. Do it. And he leaves with him. That's fine. He just throws away. Yeah, uh, no, please do. I don't want to be anywhere no. around him if he's going to be stupid like that. I cannot believe this. Is that the guy that you've known for the last six months? No. Does that surprise you to see him act like yeah. that? Yeah. I don't, I mean, I have no clue where that even came from. He's been, I mean, he's totally, I think, <laughs> he, uh, big time. Well, should we get you back? Yeah, I'd really like to go home. <laughs> After the confrontation, Shay finds comfort among her family and friends. At the end of the show, cheaters will disclose Shay's plans for the future. But first, meet Carla Nunn. Carla was discovered having an affair with her boyfriend's cousin. 
Carla returns to Cheaters, hoping to shed light on what she considers a misunderstanding. Carla Nunn, age 33. Carla warns of the consequences of cheating and how relationships suffer as a result. When, when they were first arguing with each other inside the club, um, it was normal. You know, I didn't, I didn't think anything else of it. In fact, I wouldn't have expected anything less because of the situation. No, you my family, man. You my family. Hey, 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 hey. What you're doing with your cousin's girlfriend? No, I man, I just came to the club. You know what I'm no, saying? no, that's not what you've been doing. We know what you're doing. No, that's real. As the fight began to progress, as you know, it started moving outside, and then as they started hitting on each other and fighting, and it wouldn't stop, and then people stopped them, and they kept going. I realized at that point that Howard had probably had um, pretty premeditated you know, issues as far as being with me for something that he might have, him and Mario had an argument about or had had issues with. Um, I don't know what those are, but for the fight to go and, you know, as long as it did and how it did, as intense as it did, um, there's no way that it could have just been because of me. Be honest. What have you been doing? Be honest, be what real. What, be what, real. What we been doing. You, look, you had to get up out my face, no. talking. You know what I'm saying? First of all, you're in my face. Guys. What you talking about, guys? Hold on. What? Gentlemen, let's keep it sophisticated, please. Oh, now, you want to fight? We can fight. You know what I'm saying? I'll get up the street. You talking? Now, we have to get it. You talking? When Howard was running all around and, you know, beating on his chest, telling him, yeah, look who I'm going home with, look who I'm leaving with. And um, I knew at that point that um, he had, was probably, uh, you know, looking at me more as a game. You know, I don't know if his cousin had maybe done that to him in the past where he had taken one of his girlfriends and so he was going to do that to him and it just so happened that's how it worked out. Howard and I had hooked up but it seemed like to me that he really truly didn't care about me as much as he did that um, you know how the whole situation came about how it ended and that how he got you know and that I left with him um, as opposed to trying to sit in there and working things out with Mario. Come on, baby. What? I know where you stay at. You got it coming. Got it coming. Hey, 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 see this? Who she leaving with? Who she leaving with? I'm hopeful that I will not continue to go after the same type of person that I had been going to. That is one of the things that I have learned, um, is not to continue to go after the same type of person. And number two, I'm very hopeful that I will find somebody that is not, that's at the same point of where I'm at in a relationship and is not wanting to um, hold me down and not change their view of me as the relationship goes forward. Jay Conwell, initially bewildered by the revelation of Ryan's sexual preferences, swiftly recovered from the ordeal, stating that the incident proved that she was correct for being physically prudent in her dealings with her boyfriend, whom she says is simply misguided. When approached by Cheater's producers, Ryan Creek was surprisingly open and stated that he was relieved to be free from his repressive notions of sexuality. He also said that after years of leading a double life, he now realizes it's impossible to please everyone and has experienced a sense of liberation in the knowledge that he can now be true to himself. Richard Flores declined a lengthy interview at this time, but did agree to allow his name and likeness to be presented on the show and simply said that he looked forward to developing a deeper relationship with Ryan in the future. 